How to replace an inner blower's power module on a Renault Grand Scenic second generation? This tutorial is also applicable on others recent Renault car. We are going also to give some tips to make the blower works even with a fried power module. The symptoms are The interior blower does not work The control panel works correctly and the 40 amps fuse is not blown The cure The blower itself sounds to be good as the 40 amps fuse is still in good shape So we are going to take a look at the blower's power modules itself Follow the steps hereafter to find and remove the faulty power module. First, remove the shaft lever sleeve. Second, remove the sleeve holder. Third, remove the lower dash part. Four, remove the radio. 5. Remove the central dash part 6. Remove the glove box 7. Find the power module Partial fix of the power module And then conclusions First, the shift shaft sleeve Grab the shift shaft sleeves and yank it. Second, remove the shift shaft sleeves holder. So grab the part from the bottom and lift it. Then you can pull it through you. So now you can pinch the shift shaft sleeve frame and pass it through the part. Then you flip on the right side the shift shaft sleeve holder and you can remove the connector. So to remove this connector you have to uh, unlock a small tab and then uh, you can pull the connector out. Remove the central dash lower case. So you have two screws that holds this uh, lower case. So with a torque screwdriver you can undo all those screws, they are blinking in red. Once done, on the right and the left side you have some plastic clip, so you can uh, remove them easily. Undo the cigarette lighter connector and then you have the central, central dash lower part. How to remove the radio? So uh, there are four holes in the radio so you can build uh, some kind of brackets with uh, metallic wire so you insert those uh, bracket into the holes and then you can unlock the radio. Once done, uh, you just have to remove uh, all the radio connectors. So the antenna, then press the two tabs in red to remove the yellow connector 
and then press the green tabs to remove the power connector and now the radio is removed remove the central dash panel so this central dash panel is held by two screws in the bottom so with a Torx screwdriver you can undo those screws then you lift this panel from the bottom to the top then you can grab grab it on the top side and remove it here you can see the prongs that held this panel into the dash pay attention because there is the card reader on it let's remove now the glove box so the complete teardown of the central dash unveil a hidden screw this is the upper left corner of the glove box the right door is wide open and we can unflip the right side of the dashboard so to remove completely this right side we have to undo the airbag button and then it will unveil another hidden screw here in red on the low left side of the glove box we have a cosmetic tab we need to remove it with a flat screwdriver and behind this tab we have another hidden screw the glove box is open and we can reach now the low right side screw finally we can uh, undo the three last screws that are inside the glove box pull out the glove box pay attention because behind this glove box there is a hose connected to, to the air conditioning so don't forget to pop it out removal of the power module everything is apart and the power module is located by the red arrow behind the dashboard so here is the power module in purple and it is held only by one screw here blinking in red once removed pop out the connector of the power module let's go deeper into this power module so we need to separate the black plastic cases on of the power module so we have several tabs six i guess something like that so we have to lift the tabs and remove the cases the problem here is that the power transistor here in, in red is fried we have the 12 volts on the red part and we have the ground connected to the green parts so we need to connect those two green parts together so we are going to solder a wire between the two terminals pointed by the black arrow use an insulated wire at least one square millimeters then you sold this wire to those two terminals after that we can put back the two plastic cases together and refit this power module into the car from now the blower will turn at full speed as the power transistor has been bridged you can also take a chance by replacing the defective uh, power transistor while waiting the new parts remount everything 
except the glove box. Conclusion, this job takes a while for beginner. It might be impressive, but it's quite simple. The most tricky part is the glove box removal, but it applies only for a left-hand drive vehicle. Otherwise, for right-hand drive vehicle, you have the steering column. Thank you for watching and see you next time for more tutorials.